know, some of you guys out there like cycle cruiser, man. Look at you. Look what you're wearing. You're not wearing proper supermoto gear. You're not wearing the proper supermoto helmet. You got the street bike helmet on, man. Come on, cycle cruiser, man. You're not, you got to be a proper supermoto rider. You got to look the part. Well, you know what, guys? I'm a... I'm going to tell you the truth about that. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, Motovlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe. All of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section. You know, guys, it really cracks me up when you got so many people out there that, that think you have to look a certain way on your motorcycle. <laughs> you got you know you you know you got one you got Harley riders on one end of the spectrum that don't wear gear and think you look stupid wearing gear and they're worried about you know uh looking cool on the motorcycle when we look dorky I guess wearing gear or whatnot. But you know those those clowns out there just they don't got good sense. You know they have common sense and those are the ones that end up uh, in a nursing home crippled or half brain messed up brain damaged or they end up dead, you know what I'm saying? Um, so you got to just shake your head to those people, okay? But but the riders that actually do wear the gear, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got uh, people out there that criticize you for not looking, wearing the proper looking gear on the supermoto and the sport bikes. Like you're supposed to look a certain way on the sport bike versus the supermoto in dual sport world. And I ain't, I, you saying, I don't look right wearing this. You know what I'm saying? I look like a fool. <laughs> but you know what? Here, let me get on my bike. Let's, I'm going to tell you, look, I'm going to, you know, I keep it real on my channel, guys. I keep it real with you. You know, I don't BS you, man. You know, a lot of you out there uh, don't have good common sense. But I'm fixing to get you educated here to let you know that... First off, this bike is sick, bro. Look at this. Look at this pop. Look at this. 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 <laughs> the power on this bike is so sick, man. But anyways, riding a supermoto versus riding a sport bike, it doesn't matter. You don't need to have special separate gear, okay? You don't have to look the part on the super i think it's so ridiculous when i see guys on their super motos wearing a dirt bike helmet you know or an adventure helmet or something with the brim on it you know what i'm saying for that look okay that is dumb okay the only reason you would wear an adventure helmet which i have one i've got a dual sport helmet but i used to dual sport ride a lot okay if you don't dual sport ride, if you're not riding in the woods on trails at all or messing around in the woods where branches hit your head top, you know what I'm saying? Or That's where that brim comes into place, kind of helps, man, uh, with, with tree branches and shit, you know? If you're not riding off-road at all, uh, there's no reason in hell that you should have on a dirt bike helmet on a supermoto. It's stupid, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, with the dirt, excuse me, with the dirt bike helmet, you're not wearing the shield, right? You're wearing the goggles. Okay, the goggles on there because it, it, it you know, when you're riding off-road, you know, and you get worked up, it's a lot, because that's why I call it an endurance riding, because it gets, it's like a, a workout, you know, a cardio workout, and you start breathing heavy or whatnot, and you can fog up, you know, when you have a shield and you're doing low speed, through the woods it kind of fogs up your helmet you know what i'm saying so it's irritating so with the goggles you don't have to worry about it fogging up okay that's why you wear that setup for woods riding not for street riding so when i see you you dudes out there to ride the supermotos and you're wearing the dirt bike helmet and you're wearing goggles it's asinine because you know those goggles actually actually take away some of your peripheral vision that you need on the street so it's really stupid to wear a dirt bike helmet with goggles. Okay, now if you're going to wear the dirt bike helmet, at least wear the, get the dual sport helmet with the shield, like I did. You know what I'm saying? I even look like a fool riding around on my CBR 1000 RR with a damn dual sport helmet on. 
But I used to go from my WR250R and jump on my CBR1000RR and I didn't feel like changing helmets. So I just wear the dual sport helmet. But only one time did I wear goggles with my uh, with the, the dual sport helmet. And I'll tell you, it is not good for street riding. It takes away some of the peripheral vision, um, depending on the goggles you have. But they're not meant to for street riding, man, seriously. Uh, so if you're going to get these mostly sticking to suit riding out here on the street, guys, okay, on your supermoto, do yourself a favor and get a regular street bike helmet, okay? You don't need a dual sport or a dirt bike helmet with goggles. It's stupid. It's, it's, you know, it's not good for street riding, okay? <laughs> you can do what you want to do, okay? I know it. Do what you want. It's a, it's a, so a lot of you guys, it's more about the appearance. And that's fine, whatever floats your boat, but you don't need it. It's stupid, man. I'm telling you, this helmet right here has been absolutely amazing and awesome. I have a link to it. It's my favorite helmet ever, and I have had loads of helmets. This, I'll tell you, is an ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, and it comes with an automatic tent shield. It is by far the best helmet I've ever had in my life of riding a motorcycle, man. For all them helmets I've had over the years, the best one, most comfortable the amazing uh, transition shield, um, just an amazing, flows amazing air through it. It's just so awesome, man. And, and don't wear the boots, man. You don't need dirt bike boots, okay, on the Supermoto, okay? <laughs> I got street boots on. Now, if you're going to go ride off-road again, if you're going to do some dual sport riding with your Supermoto like I like to do sometimes, I will wear my dual sport boots, but I'm not going to be wearing full-on dirt bike boots, man. Okay, because it kind of limits your, 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 it's not the most comfortable to be riding on the street with these big dirt bike boots for long periods of time, man. Okay, uh, the dual sport boots will be just fine if you're going to do that. But most of you guys get out here looking like a dirt bike rider on your supermoto and you don't even ride off-road. It's stupid, okay? <laughs> it's stupid, man. Oh, that quick shift is beautiful on this bike, baby. The power is so sick on this bike, man. It is so in stock form. Wait till I unleash the power on this bike. Woo! This is a proper bike, man. This supermoto is so sick, guys. Highly recommend it. I think I'm gonna sell my MT-07, guys. Seriously, I don't want to ride my. I don't think I want to. I love my MT-07, and I, I'll miss the sound with that CP2 engine and that Akrapovich exhaust. Listen to that soundtrack. Uh, but I'm telling you, this is way more fun, man, because I can go crap around off road. It's lighter weight. It, it, it's, it feels quicker because it's lighter weight, even though it's about the same power on the dyno. This is sick, bro. But anyways, guys, make sure to hit thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when I release my new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, catch you guys later.